Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to another Let's Play, well I say it's a brand new Let's Play series, it's me redoing what I've already started, uh, of course Immortal Mark, uh, basically in layman's terms, the part with Solid Snake that I did, with Metal Gear Solid 2, the Sons of Liberty, I'm happy with, I'm more than happy with. The part I began with Raiden, I am not happy with. I don't think I did it justice. I don't think I talked that much. Um, in layman's terms, I... Yeah, I just don't think I, I did an okay job. Um, if I'm being honest. Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. No, I didn't mean that. Like, I really feel disappointed with it. Like, I uploaded the video the, like, the other day. Well, it might be later on, but, you know, the other day. I'm, I've, got, I've got into Metal Gear Solid again, which is real. I love me some Metal Gear Solid. Oh, uh, that will do. But, um... Yeah, I was just looking at the videos. Like, the Solid Snake bit I'm okay with. But the main portion of the game, the bit that tell, really tells the tale, I'm not happy with. I thought I did a shit job. So I will be deleting those videos. In fact, by the time you watch this video, they would have been deleted. Not the Solid Snake one, though. That's being stayed. Um, but yeah, we're going to do things a lot better. So this story is fictional. Any and all simulated characters, will you will cut me off. I'll let you guys read this. Whoa, that's kind of scary. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Oh, by the way, heads up, guys. This is the HD collection ago, the big shell for the Xbox 360. Do we have an idea? Um, I will be doing Metal Gear Solid 2, which is what I'm doing now. I will then be moving on to Metal Gear Solid 3. And then I really want to give Metal Gear a go. The original, the first in the series, Metal Gear. But this is Metal Gear Solid 2, The Sons of Liberty. Now, my favourite Metal Gear Solid of all time is Metal Gear Solid 4. For me, that was just the Pierre de Resistance, so to speak. It took, you know, it, it calls back to Metal Gear Solid 1, 2 and 3, Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2. It calls back to all of them. There's little bits and pieces they added just to... As an example, actually, you can, re you can actually play a small portion of the bit in Metal Gear Solid 1 where you actually reach the surface from the elevator in its own graphics because you have like a flashback. I just think that's, that's, that's beautiful. That is absolutely amazing. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the base ecosystem will And by the way, and the um, my feelings are known, by the way, of this. Becoming the worst environmental disaster Raiden. in history. Spoilers, that's who we're playing as. We're not playing as Snake. Uh, Snake, unfortunately, was, uh, you as you recall, was lost in that mission two one, years ago. Well, decontamination facility two years game time, not actual two years. Uh, we are playing as, a, as Raiden, who our code name we are using is the same as Solid Snake. Um, I hate him. I'm not, well, I don't hate him. I'm, not, I'm really not a fan of him. However, in Metal Gear Solid 4, he's 
fucking amazing! And I'll be re re redoing all I've done for Metal Gear Solid 4 as well. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. Ooh. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team? Oh, you can do this, by the way. They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. This will be your first sneaking mission. The arms will naturally have to be procured on site. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The That's Campbell one, from the first four, game, by the way, in case you didn't know. When you want to use the codec, push the back button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the back button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. One thing I love about Metal Gear Solid is very story and information orientated. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Fair enough. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but oh, the no. material protects nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. A wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to nah, his suit is shit. It ain't got nothing on old snake suit from Metal Gear Solid 4. To create a feedback system. You really saw everything with that. All the muscle fibers, the ass crack, everything. Organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit. In Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. And here we are. Very crisp and clear graphics. I I love it. Whoa. Nostrils massive. Oh hello. Is that a ration over there I see? Bum bum bum. Ba 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 bum. Give me a ration. Give give me a ration. You've acquired some ration. Good. This is a portable field food source that can be consumed to recover life. Select the ration in your window and push the enter button. You can use it on the spot and regain some life. If you have it selected, you can automatically consume the ration the moment your life runs out and avoid death. Rations not only provide nutrition, they also stimulate ah, the immune system. Ah, I actually didn't know stress. that. If you're near you death and you have a ration equipped, stop complaining, right? it will automatically be used to avoid death. I... I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. Uh, what the fuck is that? Hang on. That's disgusting. Uh. All right, here we go. Now there's a lot more things you can do. So of course you can open these up and hide in them. So I'll give an example of hiding in there. Also crouch down so you can't be seen through the little hole. But you can also So we are gonna come back here at some point. But nowhere near. So
Raiden, that door is watertight. Turn the handle to open the door. Face the door. We know that. Hang on. Metal Gear 2, Guns of Patriots. Well, Metal Gear 4 is Guns of the Patriots, so maybe that was a, a pre-title. Ooh. Someone's giving him a good walloping to the bollocks. Ah, oh, so this is what I hate. Raiden always has to check in with Campbell, his boyfriend, by the looks of it. Campbell! <gasps> Someone else, sir! Cash money! Must be a Galukovich man. Glugovic. A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in the Shadow Moses was four they years ago. Deal. I mean, timeline wise. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Mercenaries. I love Mel Gear Solid 1. Right, here we go. Galugovic, 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 Galugovic. Another body. Oh, that looks like Sunny Snake to me. Definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd, node. Oh, wow. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? A radar system. You know who Raiden actually does remind me of? If you guys have ever seen the film, Dawn of the Dead, and you got that group of, like, rebels that are trying to communicate with the people in there, so, you know, you better share this, that, and the other. And he's like, oh, yeah, we got the, they got trucks over there. Yeah, trucks, yeah. We need to get in. Yeah, we need to get... You just repeat shit all the time. That, that's him. That's the bell end here. How do I gain access? Just push the action button. Well, I think it does surprise me though, for a mission this big, the and they picked him, which is his first mission. And allow you access to the node. I mean, I know obviously you know, VR is pretty damn good. If they VR missions and that. You won't be able to gain access for a while. Even still, though, you know it. Got it. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Right, come on, Raiden. Here we go. Hang on, that's how we log in. We get fried to death. Brilliant. Yep. Obviously not putting in my birthday or anything like that. Awesome. Right, here we go. Oh, we want captions on, yeah. Here we go. Oh. When it flashes red, that means it's fucking important. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather. 
but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. Ooh, the okay. The layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Yeah, you bitch, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Of course he was. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the you could say that she slobbed on the knob like corn on the cob. <laughs> she has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. These were you. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. Thank you, Colonel. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. He's trained to fight, and yet he cries like a, li like a little git. And on the field... <laughs> you know, why is she on the mission? Jack, <laughs> you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Oh. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. All right, the okay. The save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? Uh oh. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear <gasps> the answer. No, mate, get out of there. Now, I'll keep trying till you get the answer. Oh, it's definitely gonna be like a birthday or an anniversary or something. You're dead, mate. You are finito. Oh, here we go. I guarantee you there will be some gameplay the soon. <laughs> is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. All right. Oh no. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Oh yeah, this is cuz he got attacked. Yeah, right. Okay, cool. I can't wait till we get the uh, the sleeping dart gun. It's funny when you fire it at them, right, and you see like a fucking needle, like a sleeping needle sticking out of their eye. Right, the elevator's there. Oh my god. Very good. The bosses in this uh, are very awesome. Um, a bit like Metal Gear Solid 3, they're very diverse. Some bosses in games, you just think, you just slapped another the bit of colour on it, it's a fucking set. You know what? Even one of my favourite arcade games of all time. Is solid snake. Their leader is Solid Snake. 
Then the why, if that was Lord. him, why would he be so up his own name? my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that. Yeah, he also went in there as well. Blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp. I was about to say, to um, node to log in from. there isn't any daylight the VR training. Well, I mean, on the on Metal Gear Solid NC. Special Missions disc that you can get on PlayStation 1, which is nothing but B. VR missions. I don't think there was a daylight one. The big shell is comprised of wow. shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts. Surrounded. Why are there so many pigeons so above where we are? Shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly, and you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. Okay. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. So we got to proceed to strut B and then log into that node. If we log into the node of uh, of A, so many fucking pigeons! Look, it's ridiculous. Oh, I just fell over in bird crap. Right. Right, and look at that wire fence. Yeah, I know that. Oh, what now? Right. Seal Team 10 is in. Do oh. You really have no line of communication with the seals. They don't know a thing about us. You know we work. Shit, in the even the people that are trying to no basically exception. only a few people know about you know, release the hostages here. and everything else and all that sort of There's stuff. No need for concern. They have no idea what we're trying to do. Command. It and is a really in the dark mission. The Fucking hell. The Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top okay. secret, okay. but it's okay. through the usual channels. Here we go. Let's have a look. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Understood. I leave the roof to you, okay? Understood. <laughs> Right, there's the node. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. I am gonna kill him. Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god. Got one, I see. Don't leave him lying around. Hide the body as soon as possible. When his comrades come back from the roof, you don't want him being found. If they do find him, They'll be on the alert and things can get difficult. Yeah, we need to get rid of this. Take a hostile down. Hide the body where a patrol is unlikely to come around. You can drag an enemy personnel's body. This is how to do it. First, walk up to the body. 
and with all weapons deselected, press the weapon button to pick it up. As long as you have the weapon button held down, you can move around with the body in your grasp. Release the weapon button to let go of the body. Right, okay. Oh god. Oh. Oh, this isn't going good. Fuck it. No! Oh, I can't believe this. Cocked up big time. Oh no. Need that node. We need a gun as well. Ride and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waste well, it's a high bit of a risk, but it could pay off. Railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways. Well, we already know about that. Oh shit! So I will stop skipping. Right? Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy Alpha Zero report. Damn it. Cover the president. Come in Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that Alpha Zero? Respond. Ryden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. Oh. Can't do that yet. I need to get the, that node online. I need to. There's no other way. There's no other way. There's no other way. Oh my fucking god, what's happened here? Oh my god. Groovy. Okay. Right, here we go. I'm gonna crouch down as well. Just so we're definitely not seen. Aye, 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 Ryden, what are you doing? So far, so good. Right, let's count five seconds. One, two, three, four, five.
Oh, right, we got the node online. Yeah, that'll do just nicely. There we are. Cool. Oh, by the way, a bit of a heads up. Obviously, obviously, yeah, they will call for backup. Like they're doing the first game. Second game onwards, though, there are times where they're like, we don't have anyone to spare. Just use precaution. And that, for me, is pretty damn cool. I pressed the wrong button. Jack, what's going All right. on? Answer me. Jack? Jack! Mission followed. Mission followed. I'll tell you what, that's where I'll end the episode. I'm going to try and keep them as short as possible. But in the next episode, I won't commit suicide. But I'll see you next time. <laughs>